Right, so we've had some experience with dichotomous keys. Um, to identify uh, other organisms, you can just use simple ID charts, um, simple identification keys. And I've just found this little critter just hanging under this log here. And looking at it, looks like I've got a, uh, a semaphore crab right here. I can tell by the markings on his back and the little, I'll put this down for a second, the little orange markings on his claw as well. He's a short-eyed crab, and I keep on saying he, because I know it's a male if I check underneath his body. And the male has got a bit of a V-shape underneath his belly there, and I can identify that, where the female has a more of a dome shape, and that's where she'll hold her eggs. So that's a semaphore crab, and it's really important, they're very territorial, so I'll pop him back there, and, uh, and he can be, uh, be happy, and we'll let him go. Uh, if you're not too keen on picking up the crabs, we've got these uh, viewing canisters here which are pretty handy. So you can take the lid off and you can pop the, uh, pop the crab inside there and that way they're not, uh, they're not being too disturbed by being picked up. And inside them, if you actually have a look, they've got a scale up there so you can actually see how large the crab is. And on top is a bit of a magnifier glass so you can pop it over the top and have a really close look at their features and how they adapt to their environment. And you'll actually see lots of fine microfibers on their legs and that's how they'll sense their environment and, and be aware if there's any predators around. So, uh, pretty handy tool if you're not going to pick one up. So, in amongst this bank, there's a whole bunch of fiddler crabs that live here, and you can see their burrows all around me here. And they've gone inside now because they know that there's a bit of danger around them. But what they'll do is they'll come out and they'll wave their big orange claw, they're highly territorial like a lot of crabs are and they'll wave the claw to ward off other crabs from their certain area and also might attract a female mate for the male.